Hi, and thanks for tuning in. I'm Mike Lewitt. I'm your Ward 6 Counselor for the Town of Milton, and this is the next edition of my video newsletter, sort of a quick snapshot of what's been going on here in the Town of Milton, what you can find at MikeLewitt.ca as always, continuous updates, uh, stories that are affecting you, uh, things that are happening in and around town here in Ward 6, and all throughout Milton. Uh, so just a couple of quick updates. One, the fourth line uh, road closure, uh, which I know is a pretty uh, a pretty sore spot with a lot of people around Beatty Trail and around uh, Menifly uh, Place uh, in Ward 6 and all up and down 4th Line essentially. That road closure has finished. It's been done. Uh, it did take a long time. Uh, there were some weather related issues. There were uh, some equipment related issues uh, as well and it, it shouldn't have taken that long and uh, the developer uh, did what they could to uh, get the job done as quickly as possible. Bottom line is it's open. Uh, you'll find some rough spots uh, along the road. Those will be repaired in the springtime uh, by the developers, so uh, it, it won't be like that uh, for too much longer. It is March, March now. The spring is hopefully, cross fingers, around the corner, and uh, we'll get that road work done as quickly as possible. So I know that that was pretty important uh, for a lot of residents. I got uh, a lot of emails as well as the uh, the Ward 1 Counselor, uh, Sharon Barkley. Uh, we got a lot of calls and, uh, and emails from people in that area. So it's finally done. Thankfully, it's done. Whew. Moving on to the next one, uh, the uh, the velodrome is, uh, is something that also that was a pretty contentious issue, not just in here in the Ward, but throughout the town of Milton. Um, the last uh, council meeting, council, or last uh, meeting before that, council voted 9-2 to two to move forward with that uh, proposal to bring the uh, the velodrome here to the town of Milton, as well as uh, a portion of the Toronto 2015 Pan Am Games. And uh, with the one caveat, the one caveat was being uh, the town of Milton needed to receive some zoning, uh, get some zoning concerns raised uh, and, uh, and, and, and completed before we move forward. So the, the last part of the process now is to sign the Memorandum of Understanding and the Multi-Party Agreement, and that is coming to uh, Milton Council on March the 26th. So that'll be the the, the final as, as, as the steps continue. That is the final one. So if that memorandum of understanding in the multi-party agreement is agreeable to council, uh, and it will be uh, looked over with a fine tooth comb, tooth comb uh, don't you worry about that. Uh, and if that goes through, then uh, the shovels will start hitting the ground. As long as we get those zoning uh, concerns raised, uh, it's part of ROPA 38, which is the regional official plan amendment uh, that's being... Uh, uh, appealed by a number of parties, so that's sort of putting a little monkey wrench in the process. So we're trying to get that uh, resolved with different levels of government before we can give our final okay and dot the I's and cross the T's in those two agreements. Uh, so those will be looked at on March the 26th. I look forward to your input on that, and I encourage you to come out to the meetings and make comments as well. Another thing that's uh, recently happened here in Ward 6, it is the... Uh, at the corner of Thompson Road and Clark Boulevard on the northwest side, uh, the New Life Church, Bell Canada, has made an, uh, an application to uh, put a cell tower. Uh, the cell tower is about 29.9 meters in height. It's actually in the shape of a cross, which aesthetically fits in with the, uh, with the church. Uh, you can find those uh, drawings and the, uh, the application on my website, mikeluit.ca, in one of my blog entries, you'll be able to find that. Uh, the deadline for comments from the residents uh, here in town is March the 20th, and you'll find uh, the contact information to send that through, or you can send through your comments to mike at mikeluit.ca, and I'll make sure that they get moved into that uh, process. The town of Milton is a commenting agency only. We do not make that decision on if the cell tower happens or if it doesn't happen. Uh, that decision is made by Industry Canada. We're simply a commenting agency, a commenting partner in this, and that's why we need to get as many uh, comments from the public as possible. Uh, the original letter has been uh, circulated to uh, homes within a 120 meter radius of the uh, of the church, and I, I've never been a fan of that. I think that the uh, the radius should be expanded quite a bit, uh, since a number of families uh, will be affected. There is a daycare at that. Uh, facility as well and uh, people need to know what's going on and that's what this is for uh, we want to make sure that uh, the public gets uh, an opportunity to read the documents to uh, look at the plans 
and to submit their comments. So March 20th is the deadline for that. So Mike at MikeClewitt.ca, send me an email, or you can uh, find out the contact information and send it there uh, before the 20th of March. Another public meeting which is coming up, and quick check of the calendar, that is March the 19th, and that is our Administration and Planning Standing Committee. It's one of the, uh, the committees that I, uh, I sit on, and there's a public meeting for a, what's called a zoning bylaw change uh, for a property uh, located at Thompson Road in Louis St. Laurent on the northwest corner. And uh, as many people who have emailed me and called me over the last uh, year or so, if not even longer, um, the, uh, the inability of getting something done at that intersection. Uh, the property is looking pretty haggard, and uh, the sidewalk hasn't been continued. There's been some uh, ownership issues there uh, that are now being rectified. And you'll see by this uh, zoning application to, to change the, uh, the zoning uh, uh, classification uh, that will potentially bring a Tim Hortons restaurant and drive through uh, to that corner, which will help in uh, further developing the, the sidewalk to make it easier for pedestrians to, to uh, use it who are going from the Metro Mall over to the soccer field or vice versa, as well as... Uh, uh, looking at the designs, I had an opportunity to sit down with uh, the gentleman who was was doing the conceptual uh, drawings for this facility, and they've uh, they've made a, a pretty good design uh, uh, that will allow more cars uh, to enter the facility without the spillage uh, that you find at other uh, dr drive-through restaurants or drive-through facilities um, in town. You know, on a busy Saturday morning, you can find the Tim Hortons at Steeles and Thompson. Uh, you know, overflowing into the street because of so many people there. Uh, they've been, uh, allowed for more parking uh, than that's actually required. They've uh, got a nice long line for you to drive through, so it'll allow more vehicles to be in the drive-through, as well as it's an actual sit-down facility as as well. So it's not just a, a drive-through facility only. It, it, there is a restaurant uh, uh, concept to it. Designs look really nice. Uh, it's 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 not going to stand out like a sore thumb. So I'm looking forward to that report being moved to uh, to council, uh, and I'm looking forward to your comments. It is a public meeting, so you can uh, attend that day. You can uh, go to uh, the Town of Milton website and register as a delegate. Or if you have any questions, just simply email me, and uh, I can bring them up at the uh, at the public meeting on your behalf. So that's what I was elected to do, and that's what we, uh, we're going to do. So we want to make sure that the public is aware of that. It's uh, sort of a Ward 6, Ward 7 uh, issue because it's right on the border of uh, uh, Ward 6 and uh, Ward 7 on, on Thompson Road. So uh, some people do have concerns uh, with drive-through facilities, uh, the amount of traffic that will be increased. So a lot of those things will be discussed. There's going to be traffic reports done and traffic studies done uh, before the final decision is made. So we are very at the, we are right at the beginning stage of this decision-making process. So it's not going to happen overnight, but we want to have that conversation with you. And that's why we're uh, having the, uh, the public meeting. And finally, I wanted to end off with uh, the fact that March is Move More Milton Month. So we want you to get up, move more, Milton. And that's what I intend to do. Now that the weather's getting better, uh, it's not so cold, it's not so rainy, freezing rain, I'm not slip sliding all over the place. Uh, it hasn't been a lot of snow, but it has been, uh, it's been yucky. So I haven't been able to get out and knock on doors as much as I should. And uh, starting this March, I will be getting out, uh, endeavoring to, to meet with as many people as you, continuing on the promise that I made uh, during the election campaign. I was out knocking on some doors earlier uh, uh, throughout 2011, and I'm going to continue to do that during 2012. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, if you see me at your door with my big smiling face, go ahead and ask them. You can always ask them at uh, MikeClewitt.ca. Uh, you can leave your comments here on this item. Let me know if, if this is a format that you find interesting, if it's something that you know you can sit down with a cup of coffee and, and listen to me chat for a, a few minutes. Uh, so leave your comments, and uh, I look forward to speaking with you. And again, move more, Milton. It's time to get up. It's time to go. It's March. And thanks for listening in. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Mike Cluett. I am your local counselor for Ward 6, and I will see you at the doors. Talk to you soon.